So hey guys, long time no speak. I feel like all I've been doing on my channel for the past few weeks has just been running around haunted houses with you guys, which is because that's exactly what I've been doing. Um, I've spent every weekend for the past month going up to horror nights at least once. So yes, I know my channel has been very full of horror nights and I want to take a moment to talk to you guys um, about a few things because it's been a while and first of all let's address the fact that today is October 21st 2015 at least for you guys because you guys are in the future <laughs> for me it's October 20th but this is obviously going up on October 21st and that means it is back to the future day it is the day that Marty and Doc Brown go to in 2015 in the future in the second movie it boggles my mind that we were there and uh, still don't have my hoverboard, still don't have my self-lacing shoes, kind of mad about that. But anyway, I just wanted to acknowledge that fact because I was a huge Back to the Future fan as a kid. Love those movies, although I was just telling Brittany the other day, I hated the second movie as a kid because I didn't get it because it was a little too intellectual for me when I was small. I think tonight and tomorrow I'm going to be doing a Back to the Future movie marathon. And then the other thing that just happened is that the Star Wars trailer came out and it was amazing. And now I think this weekend, because I'm actually going to take the weekend off of Horror Nights, I think I'm gonna spend the whole weekend watching Star Wars because that trailer has me so excited for the movie coming out in December. I mean, it is it is almost time. Those are obviously like the two big things that are happening right now. I am actually, yes, like I said, I'm actually going to take a weekend off from going to Orlando because I need it, and also because this is Hell Weekend for Horror Nights, so this is like when everyone goes. So definitely not going this weekend. Um, so there's going to be a little break in Horror Nights videos. You're going to get like two weeks, well, like week and a half off from Horror Nights videos, and there will only be one more because it's only one more night of Horror Nights for me. But I just checked, I just checked my mail. And I got a few things. I'm pretty sure this is my new magic band, which I'm going to open in a second. And then this came. This happened. So I canceled Loot Crate, but all of a sudden they put out the thing for this month and the theme is time. And it had a Back to the Future picture and it had the doctor. So I got this in, but it's torture. I'm not going to open it until I get my nerd block. Cause I'm gonna do like an October comparing Loot Crate and Nerd Black, so it's sitting here, but I can't open it yet, and it's not fair. So next week, I would expect to see my thousand subscriber giveaway coming out because I need a little time to organize how I'm going to do the giveaway and organize the gifts, the gifts, the, the gifts. So I need this weekend in order to gather that all together. But next week, I would expect that. And the other thing I wanted to do today was open my Love With Food box. And I didn't want to do it the way I've done the past couple times because, frankly, this week is crazy for me between work and everything else and not being home in a while thanks to Horror Nights. My half marathon is coming up in a few weeks and I have to go run tonight. So I didn't want to take the time to set up the camera, do the long, like, professional version of it. But I just got it and I wanted to open it. Um, I didn't even end up posting last month because I just had ran out of time. So I wanted to open that tonight and I also wanted to show you my Halloween decorations because I haven't done that yet. I've got my trick or treat banner over here above my TV and then I've got part of my Halloween village. So these are all the ones that don't light up. They're just the part of my Halloween Village there, and obviously this guy. These do light up, but I don't have them plugged in at the moment, obviously. But they are fun. Oh, extra camera batteries. That's the life of a vlogger right there. <laughs> and a universal ticket from a haunted house where they never actually collected the ticket afterwards. But um, So that's my Clown Academy in honor of Michael for being in Giggles and Gore last year. Let me plug these in for you so you can see what the yeah, see now it's running and they have sounds and stuff too but I have them turned off because it can get real annoying real fast but we'll turn 
this one on. Yes. So that's that. The bad part about my current apartment setup is that I was going to try to tape these things underneath the counter to hide them and they're way too heavy. So it's not the prettiest setup I've ever done. Don't mind my pantry over here. It, I may do because previously I used to put my Halloween decorations on this guy and now it is full of merbilia. So yeah, no, no space. <laughs> You've been to Target, you've probably seen these guys, but if you set it for the motion, it rings, but I didn't do that, so just... I know who you are. <laughs> hang that up now. But no, it does a couple different things. you dare hang up? Oh, dang. Whoop, I missed. So there's that. These light up. These are little flickering candles. Mm. They're cute. My favorite new addition for this year is this. This is gonna also be set up for motion detector, but I just do this. Let's try a different one. I just thought it was adorable. So it's got, it's got like, um, I don't know, it's got a bunch. Oh, it's still going. I just thought it was adorable at Target. I couldn't resist it. And then of course the tablecloth is also from Target. So those are my Halloween decorations. I said I wanted to show you guys. So anyway, I just wanted to do a quick video for you guys to catch you up on a little bit. Um, I know there's more fun stuff coming next week. I don't think I want to reveal what it is yet. I think I'm going to make you wait. But there's definitely more fun stuff happening next week. And Brittany has decided to come with me for our last night of Horror Nights on November 1st. So also very excited for that. So now I think let's open the Love With Food. And uh, that'll about wrap things up for today, I think. Okay, so it is my magic band. And check out how adorable the box is this year. That's completely different than the other ones. I was not expecting that, honestly. That is so cute. And then I don't know if I can, sadly, I don't know if I can do this with one hand, but it opens like this. It still says pass holder. And look, I got a green one. How cool is that? I wasn't expecting that whatsoever. That's pretty neat. Let's see what else is in here. Okay, so when I flipped it over, there's the name I got on it this time. I went uh, all YouTube happy, and, and there's my channel name on the inside of the band. Um, the only thing is that I was really hoping to get my new pass holder card in this box. Because I just renewed my pass in September. My discount card expired with my previous pass, and I just realized when I was possibly going to go to Disney last week that... I don't have an active card in order to get the parking. So I'm probably going to have to, I don't know, call someone and figure out what to do about my new card. But I got my my new green magic band. That's what you guys voted for. I asked you guys if I should get green or orange. And you guys voted for green. And I had been leaning towards orange. But I listened to you. And I got the green. So new band for 2015-2016. Alright, so let's what, see what's inside this love with food. Ooh, it's football related. I was thinking it might be Halloween related, but it's football related. It's touchdown, touchdown treats. Interesting, right? Whoa, that looks good right away. Cookies and cream wafer bites. Hmm. That sounds delicious. Yum. All right. Move those out of the way. What's this? We got. Sea salt crunchy sunflower seed bites. That was totally off camera. But they look interesting. There's fiber. Hmm. Never even heard of those before. Oh, there's another flavor too. There's Dutch cocoa. I've never even heard of these before. I think I'm going to have to try these. Do I want to try the sea salt or the dark? We're going to try the sea salt one. We're going to set that aside. We're going to try that. Let's see. Virginia peanuts. Well, love peanuts. Seems pretty simple. Power pack serving. 
Ooh, Luna bars. I always eat these. Chocolate salted caramel. I seem to like the salted caramel in these boxes. Two of those. Same flavor. Oh, had these before, not this particular brand, but dried strawberry and banana little crisps. Eh, they're okay. Not the biggest fan of these, but hey, I'm sure there's like zero calories in this. 45 calories for the bag. Yeah, that's not a bad snack. Ooh, I just saw the thing on the bottom and I am so very excited. Don't even... What? Okay, sorry. Distracted. Waffle crisps, maple syrup, another waffle treat. How much are these? These are 120 calories for the bag. Not bad. Interesting. Let's set those aside. Ooh, that's a big bag of tortilla chips. I wasn't expecting that. Off the cob sweet corn tortilla chips. What? It has a very interesting feeling to it. I don't know if they're just like... Eh, we're going to open it. We're going to find out because I'm not sure what's going on right there. <laughs> There's something strange happening. Frontier Bites looks like some little granola thing. Blueberry flavored. And, ooh, pineapple flavored. I like pineapple things a lot. Interesting. And there's, does that say protein? Oh, 100 calories. Let's see, we got some crackers. Handmade cheese crackers. Two packs of that, and I'm sure by now you guys have seen what I was oohing and aahing over. Although there's something more in there, but. Real chicken buffalo style jerky. I am so very intrigued. We're gonna try this. And what's the last thing? The little Starburst things. Um, blood orange and honey for that flavor. What's this one? This one is, I can't read it. Pomegranate and nectarine. So I'm very interested in this one because chicken jerky, if you, if you own dogs, then you probably have bought like the dried chicken jerky for your dogs and so every time i see chicken jerky in the stores that's all i think of is like dog treats but it's buffalo style i've never had chicken jerky so i think we're gonna have to try this and see what it tastes like so i have to tell you that i am completely weirded out at the moment <laughs> and i'm gonna i mean it smells like buffalo chicken it just can't mentally get over the fact that i used to like feed my dog the same kind of thing, but we're going to try it. Ooh, it's, it's spicy. It's got some good kick to it. I don't know why I expect it to be so different than regular jerky. Honestly, it's really good. It's, it's all a mental thing. Like, it's all in my head. Like, I used to serve my dog this. Obviously, it's much better quality and not nearly as dry as what I gave my dog. But there's only 70 calories per serving. There's two and a half servings per this bag. There's quite a few pieces of chicken in here. I like it. I don't know that I would buy it again. I think I would just rather have regular buffalo chicken, but I understand the concept. We're going to move on to the next thing, which is this thing, mainly because I want to see what's going on in this bag. Okay, so it is totally just tortilla chips. They were just grouped as if it was like a corn cob, so the bag felt like it might have been a corn cob in here, but... Mmm. Unlike a normal like corn tortilla chip, it's sweet corn. So it has a very sweet flavor to it. Those are really good. I would absolutely buy these if I saw these in the store. Highly recommend this off the cob. Chips. We're gonna try a little maple walnut crisp things because I'm a sucker for all things. Yeah, that's pretty trippy. It smells very strongly of maple syrup. But uh, like Leslie Nope, I love my waffles, so. Mm. Okay, those are dangerous. Those are delicious. Last thing I'm gonna try is these little guys. These, are, they say they were found at Target, which I like when they actually say where you can buy them because a lot of these things I never see again in stores. But Target apparently carries these, so we'll see if I like them. So this guy is pretty tiny, <laughs> if you can tell. It's very small little snack. And there's not much in this bag. And it's 150 calories for the entire bag. Let's see if it's worth it. Whoa. Holy cow, those are salty. I know they're sea salt flavored. No, that's way too salty for me. Maybe the chocolate ones are good. That's way too salty for me. Way too salty for me. And I like salty things. That is like, I got punched in the face with sea salt on that one. 
I'm gonna sign off because now I need to go train for my half marathon. It's coming up very quickly. And uh, I think on Friday I'm gonna put up my last SeaWorld video and that will have me all caught up with all of the footage that I currently have and it will just all be live from here on out. I also don't know how much longer I'll be doing Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Probably gonna switch back to Monday, Friday coming up here in November. So I'll keep you guys posted with that. But at, for the very least, next week and probably the following week will still be Monday, Wednesday, Friday. So I'll see you guys again soon. I know I'm going to do like a regular vlog in the near future and I'll talk to you more then. So that's it for this vlog, but I'll see you guys again soon. We're playing distraction right now. Yeah. We're just working the distraction zone. So it's perfectly normal. Normal! <laughs>